and welcome to Super Crawl 2024. We are here down on James Street North in front of the main stage. I am with Woo! Anne Purvu. Hi, everybody. Such a pleasure to be here. My favorite co-host, Harmony McKenzie, and I are going to have You're so much fun. You're my favorite co-host, too. Aww. It is just getting started down here. On the last day, there is so much great activities going on until uh, 8 p.m. tonight. And here to talk about some of them is Lisa Laraca. You are the Director of Operations. Congratulations on such a successful event. Thank you. Yay, Lisa, look at the yeah. sunshine. Isn't this amazing? Oh, it's amazing, yes. <laughs> you couldn't ask for better weather. Yeah, we put in the right weather order this year. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So it's a little great. hot, a little sunny, so we will be squinting a little bit. But overall, um, your role in all of this success, what is it? Tell us a bit. Um, yeah, so... Uh, operations I handle you know where things go how they get here uh, how they should be hooked up the whole mapping of the event uh, some programming as well so a lot all the details <laughs> so we've got live music in front of us we've got yeah. all kinds of food trucks behind us what else what else do we have back there that we perhaps don't know about that's new to the 2024 Supercross season yeah we've got a lot going on this year a lot of new stuff as well we have Hamilton Pro Wrestling here there's shoot two shows today really exciting um, they've been drawing awesome crowds uh, we have skateboarding down by the local skate shop um, that is turning into mini putt today for everybody. So Amazing. the pieces do double duty, which is great. Um, we've got basketball going on on York Street, um, a full fashion tent, dance. What all kinds of stuff. do you mean by fashion tent? I must ask. <laughs> yeah, so all weekend we've had fashion shows running. Oh. Um, we've got more running today. Um, so, you know, local designers, local companies that have uh, really great uh, fashion shows with local models and uh, we've got some cool things happening there as well there's some dance programming and some other stuff on that we're, on that we're stage definitely as well. stopping there oh my god shows. absolutely and how does how do people approach you to be a part of super crawl um, we have an application that opens every year early in the year so sometimes people miss it it's like january february um, for all of the programming january february people we gotta yes. plan fast early yeah for all the programming and all of the vendors and everything so how many vendors are there this year? Yeah. There is about 150 tented vendors wow. and 40 food trucks. Amazing. 40 food trucks. Yeah. It's like there's food. no shortage of like things to be experienced here, you know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> yeah, we've got a selection of almost like any kind of food that you could possibly want to try down here. So you mentioned some of the changes this year. What do you think um, is the most exciting thing for you personally to go to this weekend and check out? Oh, that's um, a great question. The fashion tent we moved this year to York Street. Um, so it's usually in a parking lot beside, and this year it's out on York Street. We've got more space. The crowds have been amazing out there. The shows have all been amazing. And we're just still seeing that zone really growing and people really, really liking the programming there. So I'd say that's a, a great win for this year. That's so exciting. Definitely a family event. So you can bring the whole family out no matter what you're into you've got activities you've got things you can buy great food to eat great music to listen to speaking of things you can buy I cannot help but notice this fabulous shirt that you're wearing yes. that I'm hearing is a little special and can I get one and wear yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so these shirts are designed by Dope Chief. So he did a fashion show. He's one of our vendors. Um, and there are official Super Crawl merch shirts as well. So you can get them in our merch tent or at his tent. Yes. Um, and they're limited edition. So get hurry them up. They sell uh, we out. don't have too many left. I'm so <laughs> glad that there's one more day because I'm like, limited edition. I got one. <laughs> Well, it's just starting up down here. I mean, you got some bands rehearsing on stage. So technically, the festival hasn't actually started just yet. And we've already got so many people roaming around. It is going to be nuts here in the next hour or so. 100%. Yeah. Lisa, you look like Get you have a lot there. of experience with Super Crawl. How long have you been doing this fun? <laughs> 15 years. <laughs> You've been a part of the really? whole 15. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Veteran. I, I am admire. I'm in awe. It's been a while. So you must have seen a lot of different changes, like, over the years with the programming. Yeah. Yeah. The festival's grown really nicely, too, every year. So we kind of, you know, we've grown it slowly year by year. So it's like been nice to watch. Is that, like, to, like, be like, oh, my goodness, what a meaningful, I mean, that's a yeah. passion, you know, to yep. do it for so long and to be yeah. able to grow with something for so long. Yeah, to see everybody out here enjoying themselves and, you know, everybody, like, all the visitors, everyone's been so great this whole weekend. Everyone's having fun and enjoying themselves and I hope loving it. So, so I have a question. Yeah. You guys, you mentioned that vendors starting around January, so you work a whole year pretty much. Yeah. How much of a break do you get after today before you guys start <laughs> planning for next year? Not much. A couple days? 
<laughs> hopefully a couple days. Um, yeah, we're very busy, but we love it and we're all passionate about it. But yeah, we do take breaks. I try to go on some vacations and stuff when when we've got time. <laughs> it's so, yeah. Sorry, go ahead. No, it's, it's just so funny. I'm curious. You guys have like a strategy like every year because you're going to start really quickly. Are you thinking about like themes or like different things to do every year? Or how does it work normally when you're finished? Yeah, we Bowl? try to like take feedback that we get to improve things, think of new ideas. There's always something new. So like, this year we have the squonk set up as well. That's a really cool, big performance. Um, I love it. Yeah, it's it's really fun. There'll be two more performances of that today as well. But um, we try to bring something new and exciting every year, so we're not just doing the same programming. So we start thinking about that right away. Um, and yeah, taking feedback as well from you know all the businesses, people that come, and, and trying to improve every year. It's gotcha. hard to believe it getting more fun than this year because every year, I mean, I've been here for probably 10 years now and seeing every year it get bigger and better and more participation. People come from far away now. Totally. One cool thing, I'm going to go a little off super crawl for a second. You guys have festivals you put on all year. So even in between, there's things people can do, right? Yep. Yeah, we've got, yeah, we've got all kinds of things to do the Because Beer Festival in July. Um, which is a craft beer festival. Um, we've got a wine festival called Why Not Wine. Hello. Um, we've got Sonic Markets, so <laughs> it's a, a market series that we're doing. There's going to be a couple more markets this year. We've got the Fresh Up Festival that's our R&B and hip hop. Um, so yeah, we've got tons of stuff going all year. <laughs> Ooh, I'm feeling Fantastic. it. That sounds amazing. We're going I'm to so the fashion excited. show for sure and get <laughs> yeah. up some food trucks. We're just yes. approaching lunchtime, so if you all head down here, you can also have your lunch. Yes, come try something. <laughs> what have been your personal highlights as we kind of uh, wind down over here this this uh, su super crawl season? I'm going to call it because it's a thing. highlights. Um, I, definitely the weather. I mean, we've never. So 15 years, we've never had weather like this consistently. Not a drop of rain. And yeah, not one drop of rain, knock on wood for today. But um, I, I'm really happy and excited about that because it just makes everything so much more it's enjoyable. It's kind of cool if you can go home totally. and say you got a sunburn from super crawl for once. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm used to wearing like a toque and jacket. So this is amazing and it makes everything smooth and everybody a little bit happier as well. So it's great. Oh, that's so exciting. Awesome. Well, we are going to be roaming down here. We've got a lot going on still for the next, you know, eight hours. But I'm going to do a little selfless plug for us. Ann and I have been working on a new show, The Pickup. Mm -hmm. And it just started last week. So I'm just going to throw that in there for our own self plug, of I course. I love it. I love it, you know. <laughs> You did taxidermy last week with me. Yeah, absolutely. Quick thoughts, 30 seconds. Um, absolutely terrifying. I mean, it was amazing. <laughs> I feel like I learned so much. And to be honest, for that to be our first, you know, lesson, life lesson out of the gate, I thought it was a really great start. Um, but we it have is. some pretty fun upcoming adventures as well. I think we're um, at Little Ray's Nature Center. Next week, yeah. On Wednesday, Wednesday at 9.30. So, so tune in. And, Lots uh, of uh, animal. But zip. coming up after the break here, we are with Golden Feather. So stay tuned. Join in on two days of free family fun at the 16th Annual Telling Tales Festival. Canada's top book event for kids from tots to teens returns to Royal Botanical Gardens on September 21st and 22nd. Meet over 60 authors, illustrators, and storytellers, including illustrator Kevin Sylvester and Sharon of Sharon, Lois, and Bram. Explore Hendry Park and unleash your creativity with accessible programming that brings stories to life. Register now. Holy cow, Danny, what's going on? Bro, he was the king. We called ourselves the Splash Siblings. We're back, baby, we're back! Oh, sorry, dude, I am thick, I'm wide. You all right? Another day, another dollar. You're a great another guy. Stefan is intoxicated. Day, people love a redemption story. <laughs> but you know what people love even more? A train wreck. When are you gonna tell Steph the truth about why you're really here? Wentworth District 3v3 basketball is here in the hammer. Here's what I want you to do. Monday nights at 6.30, I want you to sit down in your comfortable chair, watch a little basketball with us. I miss you. I'm on vacation, but I want to see you Monday nights. Come on, join us for a little basketball hoop action.
No amount of studying can guarantee a gambling win. Find tips for safer play at gamblingisrandom.ca. Sunscreen. I'm getting a, a beautiful, beautiful sunburn over here. It's great. <laughs> it's a good memory, right? I mean, it'll go oh, away. But... I'll remember it for sure. Uh, but you know what? We should remember that uh, an amazing band is going to be playing this afternoon, and we are very lucky to be joined by a member. Hey Steve, there. hello. Hi. Welcome from Golden Feather. Okay. And we have a great view. You're going to be right there at the main stage. That's right. That's right. You better be watching. <laughs> I got to tell you, Steve, last night, my husband and I were absolutely grooving to some of your music, you nice. know, just to get in the mood for today's interview. So amazing. you're amazing, and we really appreciate you being thank, here. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate you having me here. And now you are alone right now, but you have other bandmates. That's Who do you right. got? Just give them a little sh uh, uh, shout so out. So we, we got um, Gareth Inkster on keys, Daniel Walton on guitar, Murray Heaton on saxophone, Brad That's Germain. So cool guitar and vocals, Ronson on bass, myself, drums and vocals, and we're going to have two guests playing horns with us today, Connor Bennett and oh, David Baldry. Amazing. That is wow. quite the ensemble. So it's going to be a full stage. Yeah. I love I it. Very excited. Yeah. You're performing so cool. at 2.30. 2.30, yep. Awesome. What can On the people... North Stage. Is yeah. this the North Stage? It's the yeah. No, TD, the South Stage. TD. Sorry, the yes, South yes. Stage. TD yeah. Main Stage, right? She's yeah, learning the it. land, you know, just a little slow. <laughs> We're on James Street North, remember? Yeah. In, in Hamilton. The beautiful Electric Diner, which is a great spot, by the way, yeah. if you are visiting days. down here. Yeah. All right, so what can anyone who's coming expect to see? What's your inspiration, the vibes? It's, uh, it's really love and having a good time and positivity and community and collaboration and openness you know it's uh it's it's just a it's it's an experience we want to share with everyone who's not on stage as well and and we we really like to get people moving you know that's incredible how long have you guys been playing together we've been playing together as a unit for about three years now yeah Amazing. just over three years and uh and it's been evolving and uh, and changing a little over time, all, all, as all good things do. And uh, yeah, we're really feeling um, like a tight unit now, you know? That's so awesome. exciting. Now you said you were drums and vocal. That's true. It's yeah. rare to see the drummer do the vocals. Yeah, yeah, I, I get a lot of comments about that. It, Multi-talented. Uh, yeah, you, you, have to, you have to play your drums very quietly to sing as well, because <laughs> otherwise it's just, you can't hear your voice, you know? So it's true. Like, yeah, it, it's um, yeah. I really, really, really enjoy it. It's, Have you uh, always played multiple instruments? Is that it? Is it just I, drums and? Yeah, or? like w when uh, when I perform, it, it's it's usually just on drums. But uh, I've 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 done like some background singing in the past while playing, but never uh, in a lead aspect before. So it's been a cool new experience Aww, to kind of fall into that groove. Well, and it takes That's a amazing. lot as. A legs and your arms doing different things so then to add in that you now have to sing it always it always <laughs> takes a while to, to for it to finally click like that you know for a while I've got to think about it too much and then it just clicks and then and then you got it you know yeah, yeah. that's so cool yeah. I hear Phil Collins may have played like that so you know you're in good company yeah <laughs> <laughs> Aw, that's so exciting so in terms of the vibe that you guys go for is it constantly changing or like you were saying, you're evolving still as a as a unit. Well, three or years is new. You're still it, a new yeah, band. Yeah. yeah, it really is. And and even even the way that we play some of our songs that we you know wrote year, a few years back, we play them a little differently now. You know, like the the songs have been evolving with us, and that's kind of one of the big parts about this group is that. Uh, where nothing is in a box it doesn't have to be this way you know it, it can be any way we, we want it to be and and I think people kind of that's part of the the fun people have coming to see us play is that we're just having fun playing music you know it's not uh, it's not got to play this song like this you know it's it's very open and it, it, improvisational at times that's you know? the part I love do you guys get people... to do a lot of live shows What's that? Do you get to do a lot of live shows? Yeah, yeah. We've I think we've played upwards of sixty shows over the past uh, few years. So wow, yeah. that's a lot. Yeah, we, we and do you do you work full time as well, or is this yeah. it? Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just but, but, all, all, of us, yeah. All, all of us do. All, all of us have have uh, other gigs, and this is this is kind of um, you know whether it's some, some guys do other music for, for their main income, some other guy, some other Gareth's a teacher. You know, uh, that's it, a it, lot it, though because yeah. you have to practice a lot. And totally, you really have totally. To well, be it, together, right? It really says something about how much fun everyone has because they're willing to devote the little 
spare time that they have yeah. to uh, create to this music and you know, to yeah. share that with yeah. major audiences yeah, all around yeah. us. Yeah, it's, it's uh, yeah, we're really lucky. I'm really lucky to have found this group to play music with, and I remind myself of that all the time. That's if so you could cool. do it full time, would you? Oh yes, yes, uh, totally. We might see you on the big stages one day, so yeah, concerts. But, but, but we're, if if that happens, it's going to happen organically. You know, we're not right. we're not pushing anything. We we want we don't want to burn out. We just want to we want to be able to do this until we're old and gray. But you that's know? what I love. And when you were talking about your inspiration and how it's positivity and happiness, that means people coming to see your show should leave feeling happy and feeling energetic. And that, that that's one of the biggest points of the whole thing. Yeah, totally, totally. Yeah. That that's, totally speaks to my heart too, because yeah. I'm a big. I, I love making romantic comedies. I'm an actor. So like, you know, love yeah. is a is a beautiful universal if, theme if, that if, anyone can connect to or should be able to. It feels good to portray that, you know, and it feels good when you see people connecting with it and experiencing it, you know? Absolutely. You guys are repped by a label as well, right? Sonic Onion, who's Sonic. putting on this festival. Super yes. Crawl brings a lot of people yeah. together and a lot of music. Yeah, yeah. This is this festival is incredible. Like a free festival right in the heart of downtown. Like you don't see many festivals of this size bringing in acts like this, um, you know, right in the heart of the city. Oh, it's the lineup really cool is phenomenal. See. There's yeah. so many great performers like yourself trying to be a part of this now because it's bringing people from near and far. I know people from Ottawa that come down here because it's a great weekend away. Totally. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And where else can people find your music? Uh, we, on any streaming uh, service that you you use, uh, we have a actually a, a album coming out on Friday. Uh, on oh, that's convenient timing. Oh, yeah, I love yeah, that. Yeah, that's it's, incredible. It's, yeah, it's our first full-length album. We've put out a, a few EPs, uh, but this is a full-length album uh, coming out on Sonic Onion Amazing. on Friday, September 20th. And, uh, yeah, we're re really, really excited to get that out to the world. So we have less than a minute left. Do you have any shows coming up after this? So if people aren't seeing you today, can they catch you anywhere in the near yes, future? Yes, we're going to be playing at the Germania Club here in Hamilton on King Street East on uh, November 15th. Right around uh, so the that's going to be kind of like a show to celebrate the release of our album and um, yeah. Congratulations! This is huge. Yeah. Thank you so much for taking album, the time, guys. This yeah. is awesome. Yeah, thank you so much. All right. Well, we are still in the heat of a super crawl. We've Hot. got David Savelli coming up from Hamilton Pro Wrestling. You heard Lisa talk about them earlier. We're actually going to talk to him and see what he's got going on. So stay tuned. We'll be right back right. here at Super Crawl 2024. I'm Val Cole, and I want to personally thank you for sharing a wonderful season of Hamilton Life with us here at Cable 14. I hope you're having a safe and happy summer, and remember, you can catch the best of our shows as they encore over the next couple of months. Plus, subscribers can stream episodes on demand at Cable14.com. Don't forget to check us out on Instagram at Hamilton Life. Click follow, and we will see you in the fall. When an impaired driver killed my brother DJ, my life changed forever. During the pandemic, all of our lives changed and many of us turned to alcohol and drugs to cope. As life returns to normal, the increase in substance use from COVID has lingered and some police services report an increase in impaired driving that caused heartbreak and devastation. Now, more than ever, we need your commitment to never drive impaired and to encourage all of your family and friends to do the same. Together, we can save lives. I walk for my partner who is on dialysis. I walk in memory of my dad. I walk for all those waiting for a kidney transplant. I walk because I live with kidney disease. When you participate in the kidney walk or support someone who does, you're taking steps and providing hope to thousands of Canadians living with kidney disease. Behind every step, there's someone we walk for. Who will you be walking for? Who will you be walking for? Who will you be walking for? Be walking for? Register or donate at kidneywalk.ca. Next week on The Pickup, Little Ray's Nature Center serves up yummy treats with a side of thrills and chills. A Gila monster? Yeah. How, ooh, what is that? You can hold it. Yeah, oh, but you can hell no. hold it. <laughs> My fluffy was actually fluffy. This one. Your fluffy was also um, good. Catch it Wednesday night at 9.30. Up and also kind of sad 
because this is the last interview. I know. For uh, now. For this show. For now. But we'll be back at 3 o'clock. Yeah, you're going to get rid of us, okay? <laughs> Supercross got lots going on until 8 o'clock. We're on James Street North. We are right at King in front of the TD main stage, which we're so lucky because we got a front row seat of all these great performances today. We just saw Golden Feather uh, before the break. We talked with them, and they're up at 2.30 today. Another great um, installation, I believe it is what you guys are called, Hamilton Pro Wrestling. You guys are Woo! doing lots of great things. This is David Savelli. Welcome. Hi, David. Hello. Thank you for having me. Thank yeah. you for taking uh, uh, what little time you have before the mayhem starts to come <laughs> chat with us. <laughs> what do you guys got going on today? Talk about it. So today, um, Sunday here, we have two shows going on at Supercrawl. Uh, we're located at York and James at the car park uh, parking lot there. Uh, our first show is at 2 p.m. and our second show is at 5 p.m. That's so cool. So, like, I'm new to pro wrestling. I'm new to wrestling. Um, tell me, like, what was the inspiration behind what you do? And I know you're also a performer, which is amazing. Yeah, so as you mentioned, I uh, got into wrestling through performing because I just loved wrestling as a kid. I've been doing it for 20 years of my life. So, uh, wow. next generation was to start up a wrestling school here in Hamilton and then start running these events. And it's always been a goal of mine to do the biggest event of them all, Supercrawl. So let's talk a little bit about that wrestling school. You have a lot of, I'm assuming, your students here this weekend. What, What is going on with the school? Absolutely. Uh, so what makes Hamilton Pro Wrestling unique from some of the other wrestling promotions in the Ontario area is uh, our events sole focus is to showcase the students coming out of the academy. Uh, oh, I've been that's the, awesome. I've been running the Wrestling Academy for eight years now, and we've been hosting events for seven years. Fantastic. And you got two shows today, so that's awesome. People can come check it out. Um, if they want to enroll in the school, can they also do that today? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, they can find me, uh, get some information, email us at hamiltonprowrestling at gmail.com. Uh, or follow us on Facebook or Instagram and choose a message. And we're at a point now that we're uh, accepting new students in the future, um, just as we you know, keep our classes to controlled numbers so we can keep people constantly in the ring and, and, and learning. So I'm curious, you know, because you have a ton of experience, what makes a good pro wrestler? Like, what, what, what kind of skills change. do you need to have? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> That's a great question. Uh, <laughs> It's a great question. I honestly believe it's a combination of multiple skills. So, like, I've dealt with wrestlers that are extremely athletic, but they may not have the personality right off the bat. Okay. Or I've seen other ones that have had more of a character and acting, but not be able to pick up the wrestling aspect of it right away. Uh, having that mix of uh, charisma, having that mix of athletic ability, because pro wrestling at its core is... A combination of all of that. You know what I mean? It's a sport and athleticism, but it's also theatric entertainment as well. Right. I love that. Ooh. And Anne, as an actor, must appreciate that a little bit more. Listen, do you need to pick, do you get to pick your own name? Like, do you get to, like, create the character? How does it work? So when someone joins your academy, right, you're like, all right, let me give you the ropes. Literally. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> how, how do you talk about, like, do, how do you encourage people to find that character that they want to? Definitely. Uh, when I was coming up, I was always told, you know, for a character to start off, uh, often you can play just extension of yourself. You know, turn up the dial a little oh. bit and dive into who you are. So we try to start with that. Um, but I've also been fortunate enough to work with a lot of people that love to use wrestling and do the complete opposite of that. Um, you know what I mean? They like to so play like a different role. Become a certain something that they might not necessarily have the courage to sort of be always in their life. I Absolutely. love it. Brings out the inner beast. I like it. Ooh, Harminator nice. coming out. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'd have to work on the wardrobe, though. That's an important part, too. Yeah, yeah. Um, so Ooh. you guys are here today. What other shows do you got coming up this year? So, yeah, we've been fortunate to be in part of Super Call for the first time this year. We did an uh, event Friday night at 6.30, which was awesome. Uh, we did two events yesterday at 1 and 4.30. And each event, the crowd has been growing bigger and bigger and louder and louder. The it's, crowd was it's crazy. Awesome. We heard you had a very, very large crowd. Thank you. That's what was that like to, you know, oh, finally feel the payoff from all of that and see all of those people engaging? It's super rewarding. Uh, just a great feeling. Awesome for my students and the crew to have a platform to perform in front of an audience like this uh, at like a place like this, part of the festival, there's so much going on. There's you know music, there's dance, there's fashion, there's skateboarding, basketball, there's everything at this festival you can imagine. So having wrestling uh, is just fantastic. 
It's so unique. How did you guys think, like, oh, we're going to start putting on live shows at Supercrawl? Like, how did that come about, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so it's something I've been thinking of for a long time. Uh, oh. We just started dabbling into doing a few festivals in the area and working with the community. We were able to do some wrestling with the Hamilton Cardinals baseball, so we were able to do that uh, last year and this year. And Supercrawl was something I thought about because I think it's the perfect mix of every form of entertainment and show. I wanted to bring wrestling there. And I had the idea of just to play a words, Super Brawl. So Super Brawl is Super Crawl, so I kind of stimulated it. I wanted to try doing it a few years ago, but it didn't happen until this year, but I'm very thankful to be here this year oh gosh, and so uh, awesome. make it come to fruition. Congratulations. Yes, congratulations for sure. And if people do want to come check you out, they haven't seen you yet, maybe they don't know much about wrestling, what do you think they can expect to walk away feeling? Uh, we offer a family-friendly event. You know what I mean? It's very... So it's good for the In whole family. It's engaging to the audience. It's, uh, I think, one of the best things about wrestling, unlike any kind of other performance in theater, really, if you're watching a show, uh, not only do we, not only can you uh, engage and, and, you know, cheer on your favorites and, and boo the villains and the bad guys, <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's encouraged. That we we thrive well. off it. We, we work off that. So it's very engaging with the audience. So we expect that, and we have a lot of fun with that. Um, and we just hope that everyone kind of enjoys the show. We've had a lot of people see wrestling for the first time and uh, made fans out of them. And hopefully they'll be coming out to some of our future events. Awesome. So if people can't make it down here today, but they're watching the show and want to find out more, where can they reach you? So they can follow us on uh, Instagram at Hamilton Pro Wrestling or Facebook at Hamilton Pro Wrestling. Uh, we have a few upcoming events. Uh, we're actually celebrating our anniversary event, eight years since we opened in September, seven years since we ran events. So that's happening Saturday, September 28th, here in Hamilton at our home venue, the Germania Club, down by King and Sherman. We've been hosting events there for the last couple of years. Um, and it's just always a big event awesome. there. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us. And hopefully you guys um, are able to check him out later today here as well. Woo! All right, we are back here, Ann and I, at 3 o'clock. In the meantime, we're going to be checking out fashion, food trucks. It's going to be amazing. I got my walking shoes on, my, my retro. They're fabulous. Retro she was like, hey, what do you think? What do you think? I know, I broke um. them out just for today. <laughs> They're great. And don't forget to tune into the pickup this afternoon in between while you wait for 3 p.m. Yeah. for a live show, you know. All right. First episode, doing the rounds. Thank you guys so much for watching.